Hello and welcome back. For our last example from this section, we're going to be looking at finding the limit as x goes to infinity of the quantity 1 plus 1 over x raised to the 3x power. And again, this is the section over L'Hopital's rule, so we will try to apply that method if possible. First thing we need to do is we need to find the form of this limit to see if we can apply it. So the form is going to be 1 raised to the infinity power. And to see that, we have 1 over x going to 0, so that's 1 plus something going to 0 is going to go to 1, and then 3 times x is going to infinity since x is going to infinity. So it's the form 1 to the infinity power. You should notice that this is not one of the indeterminate forms of L'Hopital's rule. It's not 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So what we have to do is algebraically rewrite this in a way that we can apply it. And in this problem, what you want to do is actually take the limit. Oh, I should say, you should take the natural log and then take the limit of the natural log. So first up, let's redefine this as just L is the limit as X goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over X raised to 3X power. And now we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of the limit is equal to the natural log of the limit, which again is the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x raised to 3x power. The next thing we're going to do is use the composition rule. So the natural log of our limit is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of the quantity 1 plus 1 over x to the 3x power. And then what we can do is use the rules of logarithms and see that that exponent can come down as a coefficient on the natural log. So this is the natural log of the limit is the limit as x goes to infinity of 3x times a natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. And at this point in time, it's a good idea to take a look at the form for this limit. So the form for this limit is going to be 3x, which is infinity, times a natural log of 1, which is 0. So we are not quite where we want to be, but we do know that we can go ahead and rewrite this algebraically and hopefully obtain a form that we can use L'Hopital's rule. So to do this, we're going to just copy down what we have so far, which is the natural log of L. And then this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity. And we're going to leave that 3 where it is. And we'll have the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x in our numerator. And down below, we will have 1 over x. And again, the idea is that this is going to be a form that hopefully we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So checking out that form, we know that the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x is going to be approaching 0 because the natural log of 1 is 0. And then you will notice that 1 over x is going to 0 since x is going to infinity. And we finally have a form to apply L'Hopital's rule. So... Again, carrying down what we have so far, natural log, limit, x goes to infinity of 3 times. And we're going to look, take a look at the derivative of our numerator. You remember the derivative of natural log is always 1 over whatever is inside times the derivative of what is inside. And derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. Down below, the derivative of 1 over x is still negative 1 over x squared. And we know that we can algebraically cancel out the negative 1 over x squared since they're the same common factor. And then we have what's left over is the natural log of L is the limit as x goes to infinity of 3 divided by 1 plus 1 over x. Again, everything else is canceled. So if we look at this now, we know that x is going to infinity. So 1 over x is going to 0. So that's going to be equal to just 3 
over one in the limit, which is just three. And so we know that the natural log of our limit is equal to three. To extract our limit, we apply inverse functions or you could rewrite it exponential, it's your choice. But I'm gonna use inverse functions, canceling out. My limit L is equal to e to the third power. So therefore, that original limit going all the way back to the beginning of the problem is equal to e to the third power. And that is the value of our limit. And we should not be surprised by this because if you kind of just ignore the three and look at the limit as x goes to infinity of one plus one over x to the x power, that's the definition of e. And we're just taking the definition of e and raising it to the third power, and that should be the same thing as e to the third power. So again, no surprise here, but it is nice to know that L'Hopital's rule will help us obtain the same rule that we had in pre-calculus for the definition of e. And now we can actually find e to any power using this limit process, which is pretty nice if you think about it.